What is going on, everybody? Welcome to week two of the NFL season. Bobby Five, the man, Jake Rohde. We are going to be talking through position by position, who we like. We're going to get into some stacks. We're going to talk about some bold plays, things we can do to get off of some of the chalk, et cetera, et cetera. Rohde, how you doing today, my man? Uh, doing good, doing good. Um, hopefully we got a good showdown here. We got a good start with Goddard's getting a lot of balls and Devontae Smith's already over at eight with a 55-yard bomb. So it's perfect what we, we talked about earlier on the showdown. Oh, let's get it, man. Yeah, let's uh, get it. Let's get it on the big slate here. We're gonna we're gonna start off. We're gonna talk about um like quarterbacks, as you guys all know, are gonna lead into stacks. And look, somebody did win the millionaire on FanDuel for the second time since 2020 only. Uh, with no correlating players. That is not what we do. We're generally in the in the mode of correlating. Every now and then you might get a, a skinny stack or whatever. But most of the time we talk about quarterbacks and receivers, they're going to correlate to the stacks we like. So we'll touch on stacks at the end. But we're going to start off with quarterbacks we like, which, again, there'll be a lot of stack talk while we're going through it. Um, Ro, do you mind if I jump off with, uh, with my QBs and then, then we'll go to you? Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I do like uh, Lamar to bounce back this week. Uh, Le Lamar, Mahomes, Lawrence, Geno Smith, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, and uh, not to be forgotten, Jared Goff are my main quarterbacks. No, 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 no coincidence there because I like I like the Buffalo uh, Vegas game. I like the Baltimore Cincy game. I like the Jacksonville KC game. I like the Seattle Detroit game. That's that's what I'm most heavily focused on this week. Um, how about you for quarterbacks, um, guys you like? Yeah, I mean, I like all those guys. I mean, probably one guy you know that I'll talk about is Herbert, but, I mean, he's not in the best game this week for what – I mean, you talked about the best games. I mean, that last year that Seahawks and Detroit game was a huge, huge score game. You got um, Casey and Jags should be a fast play game this week. I think Mahomes might bounce back if they stop dropping the passes. We might get some huge scores in that game. I like a lot. Uh, maybe one quarterback we haven't talked about that looked pretty good is Jordan Love against Atlanta this week. Yeah, um, that's possible option for me at 5,500. So maybe one guy you didn't mention, I can get a little bit behind him. They got 21 total, close game. Um, it's at Atlanta, right? Yep. Yeah, at Atlanta. So I mean, that could be a good one. So there's some cheap stacking options there for Green Bay and. And we're questionable on Jones still. AJ Dillon could be a good piece in that game, or some other cheap receivers. So, in the stats, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm with it. I like the uh, I, I like the idea of the love thing. The only the issue I have is that Atlanta has a pretty good running game, and that they're going to try and keep the ball on the ground. But and, and maybe not not so many desirable running backs just because of, you know they're giving Algier looks, and then you've got Bijan Robinson who's expensive. So, but but I, but I think I certainly could get behind even just this uh, a little stack of of Jordan Love to to a couple of receivers and, and maybe not even run it back. I don't think that's it's totally out of the question. I like the Jordan Love call. You nailed it last week with that one. Um, so I, I I can definitely be talked into it. In fact, I just added him to my my list. If there was anybody else I'd consider this week, it'd be Fields and Richardson. Um, but the, the those those seven guys that I that I named are, are going to be the, the bulk of mine. All right, let's talk about some running backs here. Uh, what, do, what 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 running backs do you have the, the that look the best to you? And we could talk about, you know, maybe something that gets different. Or do you want me to go first? Um, up to, up to you, Ben. You can go first again. That's fine. You can take the lead. Okay, sounds good. Uh, my favorites on the high end are I I actually like Henry a lot, which sort of speaks to that Chargers. Uh, maybe that maybe that's not a bad point what you made there about uh, Herbert. I, I think that. You've got a, a team that historically has been much, you know, has, has been burned by, by receivers with a team, you know, against a team with a good running game and, and with Henry. I, I could see getting a little Henry action and, and maybe some Herbert on the other side. So I do like Henry and Pollard at the top. Oh, I mean, McCaffrey is, is obviously a good play always, but um, probably not going to get be able to quite get, all the, quite get all the way up to him. And then my other ones are uh, on the cheap end. I really like uh, Damian Pierce and uh, Kenneth Walker. So... I'll be mixing in some Pollard. Um, I might even mix in some James Conner, although I'm not thrilled that he's going to have ownership. There's a couple bunch of cheap options there. Rashad White is another one that I'm considering. But the main ones for me right now are Pollard, Henry, Walker, and Pierce. Um, yeah, I, li I like that. I think I think maybe you can even do – I like Henry's price at 7400 He got some passes week one too, guys. He got a couple screen passes, so he's getting involved in the passing game a little bit. Um 
you can also just do a secondary stack. Like you said, you don't have to stack Herbert with him. You could do Henry and Mike Williams or Keenan Allen. that got a lot of work too. Maybe, you know, so just do a little secondary stack there. I like that. Travis Etienne at 6,900. I don't mind here. He's not getting too much ownership either. 7%. Um, Kenneth Walker only at 5,800. I think that Detroit game could be a little sneaky. The Seahawks, I, I, I like them this year, but their prices are definitely down. Um, I think they I think they could have a bounce back uh mm-hmm. week week the Seahawks could. Kenneth Walker could get going big. I know Jameer Gibbs only sixty three hundred too, got a little bit of work, you know, Montgomery's there too a lot. But like they talked about getting him involved more as the season goes. So eventually, guys, he's gonna have a big game, I think. So we I gotta know. get him before he has that game, we gotta be on him at a cheap price tag. But he's kinda in the middle ground right there. Um and uh where's his counterpart at? Did I miss that? Was oh, oh, yeah, yeah, they're both kind of right in the middle, both cheap backs. You know, Rashad White was a guy I was on last week. He he didn't have a very good week, but Aaron Jones did against Chicago. Maybe White has a bounce back week. Uh, Aaron Jones questionable. Eckler's questionable, but he's priced up now against Tennessee that has a really good run defense. Um, So we, we don't like that. So I, I kind of like the guys that uh Pollard and Henry that – Bobby mentioned, and then maybe throwing some of these cheaper running backs. We're going to need a value guy, kind of. So, throwing one of those. Yeah, the Walker Pierce, uh, they they do pretty well for me value wise. Um, I'm looking at some other. I mean, like M- Montgomery, you mentioned Rashad White. Uh, uh, Mixon's cheap too. I m- missed him, 6,500. Yeah, that is a little too cheap for Mixon. I, I'm, I think I'm going to talk myself more and more into that Baltimore since he stack as the day as the. He's getting a little bit more ownership though. I mean. Average ownership, he's up to 18, but aggregate, he's only 12. So he's a little lower in the industry. Well, we'll yeah. Learn aggregates here. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's definitely something I'm, I'm looking to consider, though, either way. Um, you're, you got you definitely have some really interesting spend-up, spend-down options, which, you know, the one other guy who I, I should just mention, assuming that he's healthy, which, you know, we'll see. Uh, Aaron Jones is another one I wouldn't mind using at Atlanta a little bit of. Your, your boy. Uh, all right, let's move over to wide receiver and talk about some of this. I'll start off real quick. And um, the ones I have the most of right now are maybe going to be, a. I mean, look, in stacks, obviously, we'll t- we could talk about Diggs uh, from the game I like. We could talk about Zay Flowers, who I like. We could talk about uh, either any of the receivers from Cincinnati, Seattle, Detroit, Jacksonville, KC, LA, t- uh, the Chargers side of it. The ones I actually have, though, like that, that I'm that I'm prioritizing them right now are, are, are in that Seattle game. I, I really like Metcalf and uh, Amon Ra St. Brown this week. I like Ridley also in the same price range. Love Debo. Um, I think that Debo is is going to get some ownership a little bit this week, but I'm going to play him in these types of matchups where this could be a, a monster Debo game that he springboards himself back to near 7K price wise. It's going to happen at some point this year. This feels like a good spot against the Rams here. It's a revenge game for them. They'll run it up if they do get ahead. Um, obviously, I hope my Rams can hang in there, but I, I'm not quite as, uh, as sure of it as, as maybe some other, people, some other people are. But that does bring up the uh, the value situation where we have to talk about Nakua and Atwell. Um, I think playing one of those guys makes some sense to me. I'm a little worried there's an overreaction in the industry that's going to lead to some ownership. But... You can't, you know, like 15 targets and 10 targets for guys who are cheap. I'm definitely going to have some interest, especially in the game script of coming back. So uh, C.D. Lamb is the other one at the top that I like a little bit. The Jaden Reed, I'll let you tell me what to do with that one because I'm up in the air. And I'm looking for the other value. Josh Reynolds, I'll say my, for myself, I wanted him the first week. And, and honestly, he could have had a much bigger game than he did on that Monday night. He was my captain in a lot of lineups. So I was really pulling for him um, against the Chiefs there. Uh Josh Reynolds, there from there's familiarity with Goff and him, familiarity with Goff and him. I'm okay with it. I think I like Tyler Boyd a little bit better if I was going to spend the same amount of money. Um, and then you get in Zay Jones, the th- third receiver, but they're looking for him. So really, it's it's mostly the the Nakua, Atwell, Lamb, Debo, Ridley, St. Brown, Metcalf are my priorities as of now. And I'm just going to give a little shout out to to Christian Kirk that I think he bounces back as well. Oh, I like that. 5100. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely like the Kurt call bouncing back. Yeah, I drafted him a lot in fantasies this year. He's a good receiver. Ridley looked good that week one, but I think Kirk don't be sleeping on Kirk at 5,100. He could have just as big as a game. I don't think I'm going to be on Nakua as much as everyone He's really priced up at 4,900 now. I mean, he was three K, but he's still at 15 targets. Obviously he's very good. 
But I mean, you also got to factor the 49ers are a lot better defense, I think. Um, so that could factor in a little bit. Maybe they use Higby a little more, you know, the running backs, we'll see. But, you know, I, I don't like the one game sample size type thing. So I was kind of off him. But I mean, Safford looked great for coming back from injury. He looked really good. I thought he was really fine and wide open yeah. guys. So yeah. he's definitely viable. He's not too crazy owned. I mean, aggregate nine, but I mean, industry. Yeah. he's get, Some of the sites got him up 27. Looks like. Yeah. Um, for other guys, Jaden Reed, you want to know about 3,400. I still like them. I mean, uh, love actually missed him wide open in the middle of the field. Um, and the announcers were yelling, Jaden Reed's wide open. Like they just totally missed him. So love still figuring it out guys. He's only, you know, been a starter, not many games, obviously. So he, he missed Musgrave in the end zone on a play. He missed Reed in the middle of the field, wide open for a big play could have had, you know, and Reed had 48 yards. So at 3,400 and he's a rookie too, you know, so let him get worked into the system a little bit. I think don't be sleeping on that price tag at thirty four hundred. I, I I bet that's going to be climbing a little bit. Yeah. Um. So higher spend guys. I'm sorry. Double clicked it. You know, Amon Ron, DK Metcalf, even Lockett in that game at sixty one hundred is viable. I think. Um. That that might be a game I like to stack up. Um. I think I think Seahawks totals a little bit low. I I think that's going to be a higher scoring game than we think. You know, Keenan Allen seventy one hundred. Michael. Pittman still good good price against Houston. We didn't talk about that game, but sixty three hundred um, against Houston. I really like um, Zay Flowers again. Yeah, if I only he went up a thousand bucks. Cincinnati didn't look very good. I think they're going to bounce back. Mike Williams still fifty seven hundred could be an option. You could do a mini stack like we talked about. Kirk right there at fifty one. I really like that. Jacoby Myers doubt he plays, but man, he looked good over uh, for the Raiders. He did look good. Wow, what a sign! You know, I was high on him for a while there, and he didn't do much, but. Um, he looked good for the Raiders. So yeah, I, I'm not really on this Bron. This Broncos game could be interesting. We didn't talk about that one. Cortland Sutton still at 5400, so we don't know. We don't know about Judy, right? Still. Yeah, we don't. We don't have. Uh, we don't. We, as of right now, I've heard that he's in. And I've heard that he's out. So I don't. I, we don't have a deal yet. We will. So, we'll, we'll I mean, tomorrow. yeah, Washington supposedly should have a pretty good defense though, and I I, I haven't been high on Russell, so you know. I'm going to stick to these game stacks that Bobby talked about. I'm really going to focus on those and my bills, and then that's going to kind of lead to some receivers. You know, I don't really have anything too off the board um, for the receivers. You know, Gabe Davis at 5,800 maybe is cheap. Yeah, that's but actually I like him as a bounce back. Yeah. He, he under undervalued me for the showdown. Yeah. So, well, I mean, Jets had a good defense, though. I, I don't think the Raiders is as good. So, I think Buffalo bounces back like Bobby talked about and get a little Diggs or Allen and a little Gabe Davis action. I, I like that. So, I can definitely get behind that. I, I, there's one name you brought up that I want to mention something with that, that uh, I really think if you think about playing Pittman this week, and I think that's viable all the time, I think you have to play Richardson in some lineups with him. This guy is going to put up 35s and 40s. I, I, I don't know if it's going to be this year. I believe in the talent of Richardson. He can he can do all kinds of things. I think I'm going to add that game to my list because Houston, can, it could be competitive in one of those ugly competitive games, you know, whatever, two really bad teams. Mm -hmm. But look, you're, you're talking about playing in a dome still, which they play in a dome anyway. But you can get Richardson to Pittman and then Pierce on the other side. People are all playing Pierce, but they're not playing. How about the Richardson to Pittman with Pierce? Maybe I can get Indy and Houston as a as a, a fifth game stack. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, I like that. I think I last week I had a Richardson Pittman stack. It was a rough start for Pittman, but he got it going. Yeah. Uh, he was zero for a while there. And then he just he just went nuke for a quarter there where he got a lot of balls and they, they started making connections. So hopefully they keep that connection going and they lead into a bigger bigger this next game here against Houston. That could be a high scoring game. You know, there's only a 20 to 19 total. I don't know why. I mean, it's at Houston in the Dome, right? It's yeah, it's kind of weird a little bit. I I, I don't I don't see why some of these totals are fishy to me. The like Seahawks, I mean, Seahawks is a little lower than I thought. Um, that game's playing. lower. I'm sorry. The, uh, both teams, both in Indy and Houston, are teams that have played slow in the past. But you've got the rookie quarterbacks on both sides. I just think they're trying to do different things this year. So I kind of, I'm, I think I've sold myself on this game and maybe, maybe we've sold each other a little bit on yeah, it. Yeah. Well. They think Tank Dell's going to play a little bit and he looked pretty fast for mm -hmm. Houston too. I know Damian Pierce is there, you know, he has a couple nice runs. Um, But yeah, I mean, 
I, I might talk myself into that game. I like I, I like that Richardson call on Bobby's call there. I think that's going to be another call for us this week. I like definitely it. have that game stacked up a little bit. I like that other one. This one. This one. Some Raiders. Yep. I like all the stack a Raider with the Buffalo with the Gabe Davis stack type thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah one thing so- I'm starting to do too is I start. I'm starting to use my defense as almost like a player on the other team. Um, in certain situations, yeah. Like, like I, I, I'm not saying it's always right or whatever, but I really think like the Raiders being 2200, you could you could legitimately play a Raiders defense against the Buffalo offense, help her get some sacks and turnovers, and uh, and the then ball goes back to Allen, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I, I think it's something kind of, you know, maybe, maybe you get one turnover, you, you get the lucky touchdown at zero ownership and certainly zero ownership with the bill stack. So I yeah. kind of like. Um, no, I agree. That's a good play. I think we've seen some of that last year. We even seen where the, they stack. It was weird, but we've seen it where onslaught, you could even do the other way. If Buffalo yeah. onslaught, you could do Buffalo defense with it and, and just like a full onslaught, get a couple picks, sacks. The ball keeps going to Allen. They keep scoring. We've seen some of that last year, but I like Bobby's way to do it better. Run it back on the other side with the defense. That was a play last year where teams were winning big money. People were winning big money with opposite defense. So I like that call. Awesome. Um, yeah, let's okay, let's move on to tight end. Tight end? I have four that stand out as my favorites. And so assuming that Mark Andrews plays, <laughs> um, Mark Andrews is going is, is Mark Andrews in? Or is he officially out already? I had him as in yesterday when I checked. Let me just double check. Yeah, double make... check that because I haven't seen anything. That's going to change a lot of things if uh, – let's see. Okay, we got the Bengals. Let's, uh... We've got Andrews as probable. All right, well, so if Andrews plays, I'm, I'm interested in Andrews as a spend-up. Um, I like a Conquo. Uh, I will take some shots, and I always love to take tight ends against the, the Chargers, uh, just going back literally 12, 15 years. I also like taking defense against the Chargers, no matter who's quarterback, even if, even as good as they've been. They turn the ball over, all of them. Um, Zach Ertz and Musgrove at the bottom end. If there's one guy I'm willing to get a little bit frisky on and maybe take a shot, I'm considering a, a potential skinny stack with Daniel Jones to Daniel to, to Darren Waller because I believe in the talent, and Arizona is literally the worst team at covering the middle in jet, like every year. Um, but the main ones for me, Musgrove, Ertz, Conquo, Andrews, um, Ingram and Kel- if Kelsey's available, obviously I like Kelsey. Um, but and if he's not, I, I like the other guy. So whoever basically who's ever playing tight end for the Chiefs would be my other one. Who you got at tight end? Uh yeah, I like a lot of those guys. Waller did look good. He looks a little bit leaner this year. Um, he was getting a lot of work. I think the Giants are a team that bounced back. We didn't really talk about them, but yeah, he 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 definitely got a lot of the balls for that game. They were really trying to feed him a little bit, but Daniel Jones was running for his life last week. So hopefully he gets one in the end zone this week. He's a good play at 5,500. I think you still got Musgrave and Sam Laporta here in the 3K range. They're both cheap. They're both projecting good. They look good for rookies. They got both got a lot of catches and work. They project decent. They're getting a little – Musgrave's getting a little more ownership, but Laporta in that game is a nice little combo. You can do a Jared Goff, Mus, uh, Laporta, um, I'm on with a DK run back or something like that. I kind of like that. Just throwing that out there to you guys. Um yeah, Kincaid also in that game with Josh Allen. He, he was getting some work look good. I know Knox is there too. They got a little double tight end issue, and they're both cheap. They're both viable. It's just you got to get the guy that gets in the end zone, right? Mm-hmm. So ho- hopefully we get that happening and everything. So yeah, um, yeah, I could definitely get talked into some some of the uh, the Knox especially. Um, but I but yeah, I could see either side of it. Um, I do want to point out that the interesting thing is that the game, a name we didn't mention, and and this is something I was considering. Um, I think it is going to be a game where they get after Stafford in San Francisco. And currently Saber Sims highest projected raw points tight end is Tyler Higby. <laughs> now that's partly because they're hedging on, on Kelsey and Andrews, but even as the third top as the third tight end, maybe we should consider a little bit of Higby, even George Kittle. Again, we don't need to go way off the board. I don't want to name every single name, but I still have my priorities of Andrew who's ever tight end for KC Conquo, Ertz, and Mus- Musgrave. Yeah. But um, I do think I might throw in a, a Tyler Higby or a George Kittle in a lineup or two. Yeah, for sure. Um, I like that call. I think – sorry, guys. I always sort by Goldie's projections in the aggregate. I really like the aggregate projections. Oh, yeah. The ag- you're looking about the aggregate. I was going by Saber. That's why I said Saber. No, I, I did switch it over. He said, oh, yeah, Higby is number one here at 11. 
Yeah, they don't even have kill. They have what? What do they have Kelsey at on here? Well, they 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 hedged with him, and they have like nine. They have him at nine, which he would never project for. So they're sort of like if he plays, it would probably be like seventeen, or maybe a little bit less than that, maybe like fourteen or something. He, but, yeah, uh, he's projected on the aggregate at fifteen, so that's pretty high. Yeah, I didn't realize that. That, that seems wow. like that seems better. That's it. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, <laughs> nine he gets is a lot of work, man. He gets a lot of work for that KC team. He's going to need to help him. They couldn't catch for crap against Detroit. Open. That was ridiculous. And by the way, I'm going back to, to I, I'm going to do the the you know what the, the, the fu Canarius Tony bounce back game. This this week feels like a, a week of all bounce backs, right? Like it does. It does. It felt like a lot, a lot of underperforming week one uh, jitters or week one. You know, a lot of them I heard didn't play in the preseason. So a lot of that was a lot of people's first game activity last week. So they were really rusty coming into the game. So. We're going to see a different week, I think, this week. I think it's going to be quite a bit of bounce back. Yeah, and it's great because, like, you get some of them in the same – like, Buffalo, obviously, that's a big bounce back spot for them. In Baltimore, even though they they won the game, it's not like they played well and they didn't get the passing game going. I think that they, I think Lamar bounces back. Joe Burrow literally could could play the second worst game of his life, wow. other than the other night, and he would bounce back just by that alone. That was, <laughs> that was maybe one of the worst games any quarterbacks played. That looked like Baker out there. Yeah, we didn't talk about them at all. But T Higgins 0 for seven there in that game. I mean, man, yeah, yeah they didn't look good at all, right? You know, Smith and Seattle get a chance to bounce back against Detroit. Uh, KC back, bounces back against Jacksonville. I mean, these are some good bounce back spots from yeah. really, really good offenses. Um, and, and Chargers bounce back and they get Tennessee with Henry on the other side. I kind of like all these spots. So, yeah. All right. For defense, I'm going to probably, okay. So, the, the obvious, the one that people are going to play the most, and I, I am probably going to have to just, I, I like, they're, they're fine, but I'm probably going to go away from it. Um, I also, you know, early in the week was really considering Justin Fields again. I probably will consider him a little bit. But Tampa Bay, I think, is going to stand out for for most things. As you've got it sort of pulled up there, their their projected ownership is uh, pretty high. Uh, depending on uh, Goldie's got them at twelve, Trudy F uh, Sheets has got them at seventeen, and yeah. and, uh, and then you yeah, I mean they're 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 going to be owned no matter what. But that's kind of pri- they're still pricey though for DK pricing. They're yeah, it's not the super cheap. I'd rather go for the super cheap guys. Let's let's like do you talk the Raiders, you talk the Ram. I mean the Rams are that's- down there. Titans are cheap. Yeah, there's not that two K flat anymore, but. Yeah. Um, hey, Brock Purdy will have a bad game, and and I'll take a shot on the Rams to do that. I mean, they still could. They still Aaron Donald is still on that roster. He can still get after the quarterback. Ask you know Smith about Aaron Donald. Um, yeah, two guys can't, can't even block him. Uh, Atlanta, um, Tennessee, uh, Rams, Vegas, Baltimore, and then Tampa Bay in maybe my single entry stuff. Yeah. Uh, so what do you got? feel though? The the Cardinals here against the Giants. I mean, that Giants offensive line is terrible. I mean, Dallas is good defensive line, but they were just blowing back the Giants on that Sunday night game. So even yeah. them at twenty six hundred, they 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 scored twenty points last week against Washington. Yeah. Why didn't I mention the Cardinals in there? That's right, one hundred percent, Brody. I like that call. Yeah, so I guess I gotta I gotta upgrade my Zoom on, so my meeting's gonna end in ten minutes. Just FYI. Okay, well we're gonna make it anyway. I think. I think yeah, we're, well, we're almost done, but. Uh, I just wanted to let you know the Jets at twenty seven hundred against Dallas. Yeah, Dallas looks really good, but the Jets defense held Allen. They were pretty good too, to be good. honest with you. But there's no offense on this side. Hopefully, I mean we're gonna see the Jets game's gonna be interesting. We didn't talk about that one, but that could be interesting. Oh, no, I like that though. I, I'm in. I'm in on the Jets. I'm defense. in on these two. Any of these cheap defenses. Let, let, let me just say that I I pick all these I guys. I kind of mix it anywhere from twenty two hundred to the thirty two hundred defense to the box. I'll have all these kind of guys in this price range probably. You have a defense in the Jets that, that, that no joke may actually be the best defense in football and they're 2,700. Yeah. Forget who you're playing for a minute. And by the way, it's not like Dak didn't lead the league in, what was he, second or third in the league in turnovers last year? Yeah. You know? I mean, like, it's not like it can't happen. They just didn't need to do anything week yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. I'm so in I'm in on that, Rody. Really like that. good defense at 2,700 at low ownership. I think. That yeah. Might a, that might be a good call there. I, I like that. We'll see if we can get some of them in this week. It, you know what? I was pretty adamant with my my Cardinals last week as as my favorite defense, and this week you were adamant about the Jets. Maybe the Jets are this week's Cardinals. How about that? Which which I mean, I, look, this week's result of what the Cardinals did last week. They obviously yeah. have much more defense than the Cardinals are. Yeah. Um. All right. So just just to reiterate, stacks for me, and I've added a couple. So the main ones, I, I'm having a hard time picking my favorite. I think Seattle, Detroit may end up being it for me. I do like the Baltimore Cincy. I like the Jacksonville KC. Then Buffalo, Vegas. But I can see Buffalo just putting the hammer down, maybe not even getting a run back from Vegas. I think Jacobs is going to be popular because they saw what everybody saw on Monday night running all over the Buffalo. 
I think I, I like the idea of maybe playing them with Adams or something or no one. Yeah. Um, then I have the Chargers, Tennessee, just because it kind of works out well. You got Henry. It's kind of hard to afford all the way up. But we like we said, there's some cheap running backs. We kept some cheap de- defenses we like, some t- cheap tight ends. We can make it work. And then a, a little bit of the Houston Indy game. I love stacking the worst teams like when they play each other. So I am fully on board with the Houston Indies thing. That, that, that's the ones I've gotten from the show. Um, what, are, what are your, fa- if you, you don't have to rank them because it's kind of hard to do. I'm having a hard time with myself, but like if you had to pick your, your, your five favorite, do you think you'd have similar ones or is there any? Oh else? yeah, really similar. I think I've talked myself into that Richardson Pittman stack too for Houston. I like that. Um, I do like Detroit Seattle. I think that's another great game to target. You mentioned that. Um, KC Jaguars is going to be a game up there too on our list. Um, I'm definitely going to throw Jordan Love in there. You know, I I think he looks good at his price tags. Their prices are so cheap. And mm-hmm. you could even play B. John Robinson on the other side with uh, Musgrave, Reed, and Jordan Love. I mean, that's easy to do. I so those are probably my top stacks. And then, you know, I'm, I might not be on Lamar as much as you are. You know, I mean, there's this giant stack. It's possible. But those other stacks I just mentioned before are probably my favorite. And then I always play a little bit of Chargers. So I yeah. so. No, I like that. I like I like all that. I'm going to, I guess it's not that bold of a, it's a, not a bold call and the, the guy is not going to be owned, but I'm going to make my bold call. I'm going to have my bold call be Debo Samuels on the, the millionaire winner. You, you got, you got, you got anyone? Yeah, that's, or anyone? A, that's a good one. I don't know if I can compete with that one. Debo is a pretty good price tag. Um, That's a good call. Whew. On the Millie winner, you said? On the Millie winner. Yeah. Okay. On, a, on a million, on a million winner, maybe the five fifty five, maybe the twenty dollar, whatever, one of those two. Yeah. Who? That's a good, a good call. I think a low. I'm gonna go with the bold call of a low total game goes a lot higher than the total. Okay, let's call twenty plus points for the for the Indy Indy Houston. I'm in on that idea. So you think twenty more over than what a total is? So I think, I think I, well, maybe not twenty. Maybe twenty is exactly. Maybe fifteen more. I think they can get to fifty five. I, I think, think it could be thirty five twenty eight game. Could be a thirty five twenty eight game. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Uh, the quarter young. I, I like the thirty five twenty eight. Uh, thirty. What did I say? Thirty five twenty eight game type thing. I love that. Within us, I mean, this total says they're going to be within a score, right? So, I mean, that's right. within a score. Someone yeah. wins it with a game winning score or something. So thirty five twenty eight. It's twenty over the total. And that's a decent score for fantasy purposes. Someone's going to score some points. So I can get like 70 to one on just this exact score, something like that. hundred bucks, 70 to one. I'm, I might just do it, Rody. Yeah. Into it. That's crazy. Um, I've not done a lot of those. That's pretty nuts. So oh man, I had one, I've only done it like three times and I happen to have one hit, which, which I knew was like, okay, never do it again. But yeah. like, I'm obviously going to do it again at some point. <laughs> you always <laughs> do it again. Right. <laughs> All right, man. Well, it's always great doing shows with you, man. Great. Yeah. To- uh, guys, we've got some great packages uh, up uh, uh, on TrueDFS. We really want you guys to check them out. Uh, also, we do appreciate when you like and subscribe to the videos, but we've got a really active Discord, which Rody's in all the time, talking to everybody, and uh, really feel like we have a different offering than most of the other sites out there. Rody, you want to elaborate um, on that and then close us out? Uh, yeah, I mean, guys, check out the premium. We post a lot of little uh, little s- snippets in there, a lot of little different different facts of the games. We got a lot of good talk in the Discord premium channel, so you guys want to get in on that. Um, we got new packages. You get yearly packages. We got advanced package for ten ninety nine a year. Great deal. You get like almost three full months, two two full months off. Little little over two full months, but that's a good package to get because we got also got an NFL fifteen discount. Use that promo code. You get fifteen percent off your first month. So it can even be cheaper than that. So we do have some really good stuff going on. And, uh, yeah, just get in on it. The Saberson projections with the Sims we got here, you get access to all that. It's pretty cool. Build all your lineups and stuff. So you get a lot of, a lot of advanced features. We got my playbooks. You can get the pro picks and every, everything's popping up for you guys right here on the site and in the discord, we post all the links for everybody. Bets, builds, projections, aggregate projections that I use a lot here on Saberson. So, um, yeah. Awesome. Well, and uh, you got, you got, you got, you got, to, you got to finish this out with the, with the, with the old saying. All right, man. Uh, this is our DFS pick show, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and let's get it.